Hello everyone, my name is Anna Brown and today I'm going to talk about how to integrate the Google Maps API with React. So first of all, what is the Google Maps API? Um, Google Maps, as I'm sure you all know, is a web mapping service that was launched in February of 2005. It's written in C++ and on the front end, JavaScript and Ajax. The API was launched shortly after in June 2005 um, and allows for developers to embed Google Maps on their websites. So why do you want it? So Google Maps is king when it comes to number of users. In 2016, Google claimed that the service has over 1 billion users. And if your site uses the Google Maps API, your users will probably have used Google Maps before and so will feel more comfortable and have more ease of use on your site. There's also excellent documentation, free tutorials, code samples on the Google Maps API website. So how can we integrate it with React? So first, we're going to go over how Google tells us to use the API on their website with vanilla JavaScript. This will probably look pretty familiar for, to, for most of you. Um, to load the Google Maps JavaScript API, we just need to include a script tag in our HTML. Uh, this URL in this script tag is the location of a JavaScript file that loads all of the symbols and definitions that we need to use the API. The async attribute in the script tag lets the browser render the rest of your website while the API loads. And when the API is ready, it will call the init math function specified in that callback parameter. The key contains the API key that you create when you make a developer's account with Google. And then we reserve space on the DOM for the map, so we want to give it a div with an ID of map. And lastly, we style our map, our HTML, and our body with CSS. In order to get the map to render on the page, it is necessary to give it a height property. And then we write the function init map that we put as our callback function in the previous script tag. This function creates a new map instance from the map constructor function given to us by the Google Maps API. This class requires two parameters, the div element that the map will belong to and an object with center and zoom properties. And it all comes together like this. And this would create a map with its center somewhere in Australia. Now let's do it the React way. So there are several libraries out there that have attempted to integrate Google Maps API with React. And I chose React Google Maps by Tom Chen because it easily allows me to declare Google Map components just like I do React components. And now how does it do this? To use this library, we still need to attach a script tag with our API key to our index.html. And the module exports a higher order component that is pretty much the bread and butter of this library. It's called with Google Map. Um, you all should be familiar with higher order components. It's the same idea as the Redux connect function. It takes in a pre presentational component as its argument and outputs a smart component. So the function with Google Maps takes in the different map components we want to render and returns a new component that represents a Google Map instance. Basically, it's calling that init function that we wrote before in our vanilla JavaScript example inside the React Google Maps library itself. So after we've created our new map component, we create a smart container to pass down the necessary styles that our map needs. The initial map component needs both a height for its container and the map itself. These props are represented by container element and map element. And this is just like in our previous example in vanilla JavaScript where our map div needed a height property to render. We can also pass down any other props we'd like in this smart component. Now it's time for an example. So for my Stackathon project, I built a map that, um, a map that showcased street art in my neighborhood in Bushwick. So here you see I have my with Google Maps function. It's taking in the Google Map component, a marker, and info window. And then I have my map container, which has all these functions that I actually wrote in. Um, it has state, and then it passes the container element and the map element styles, as well as all these different uh, props that I want to pass down. And this was the end result. So I have this map with markers, and it shows an info window. Super easy. So that's how you make a Google Map in React. Here are my resources, uh, some helpful resources for you. And thank you very much for listening.